SS gentleman, Dean Alejandro. This was actually the first time that I didn't put um, panty liners over my incisions. So for the past couple of days, I've been putting panty liners over my incisions because they've actually been seeping and doing a lot of other gross things. I am eight months on testosterone today. So of course I wanted to go ahead and do my video of my mental, physical, social changes and everything else in between. And today I also had a post-op appointment um, we went ahead and drove basically two and a half hours there and back to go ahead and make sure everything was still looking okay. I should be going back to work within a couple of days. Um, unfortunately, I still have to wear my compression vest uh, for a total of five weeks, so I'm halfway through there. Uh, if you do want to see, you know, my month update of top surgery, make sure you are subscribed. Uh, that way you can see the video once it does come out. But let's go ahead and let's focus on some of the other changes. Today is actually my 20th testosterone shot too, which is super exciting. As you know, uh, my hormones have been changing so much. So today I have been um, basically adapting. I think it's like the third time we've done this where we're now I'm taking it every 10 days. So when I first started taking testosterone, I did it every two weeks. I did it bi-weekly and then we went ahead and they decided to move me to doing it weekly, which I thought I was super stoked for. And that was not a good idea. As you guys know, I got super sick. We went back, putting it back to bi-weekly. It was not enough. So on and so forth. Here we are six months later and I am finally getting somewhat normal I say it that as a feeling, you know, not as crazy in my head, hormonal levels are more so balanced as I do get my lab work tested. And I'm feeling normal like I did uh, one month after starting T or two months about that time frame. Which of course, if you've seen my videos, you know everything that has been happening. But I don't want to go ahead and cloud this video up too much with, you know, my top surgery or everything else because as exciting as that has been, you know, it's still different than, of course, how my hormones have been affecting me. I'm now breathing uh, for uh, about an hour or so. I do that basically after I take my shower. And then I um, put the scar stuff on it as well. And I breathe about for an hour or so until I go back into my compression vest for the, basically the rest of time. Which, actually, I just started showering on my own, and it's funny, I know I said I wasn't going to get too much into top surgery, but, like, all I could literally think about was the first time I showered right after top surgery, and I had my vest on, and I was like, alright, I can't wait to see, and, you know, Alexa is helping me up with everything, and we're taking it off, and I looked down, and I, like, I basically almost fainted, like, and... He wasn't gnarly looking or anything. I just, I don't know, like I got really lightheaded and I was like, I have to sit down. And it, the worst thing about it was that I still had my drains in at the time. So I'm like walking like this and I'm like, I need to sit down. Like my face got completely white. So I was a little confused and concerned the fact that I just got this life changing surgery and I looked down and I'm like basically puking. But, um, like I said, that'll all be on the next video because that was just, it's been a ride, you know, definitely a ride. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. My emotional changes as far as now being eight months on T, like I said, I'm finally feeling better, uh, feeling more myself, kind of like how I felt when I first started taking T, um, not overthinking, just kind of being normal, as I say it, you know, not stuck in my head going through everything. I'm so thankful that my hormone levels are getting worked out. Emotionally, though, I have been focusing and very distressed with getting top surgery. I didn't know it was going to happen until basically two weeks before. At that point in time, I didn't have the funds to do so. Um, it it's been difficult, you know, I have a wedding coming up, it's been, we have no support with any of it uh, financially, but that's fine, we don't need the help, like, I mean, we, it's not like we don't need the help, but like, it's, we can do it, like, we always get by with each other, that's all we need, so emotionally, it's been difficult as far as 
figuring out if I'm going to get top surgery, how work is going to align everything else with getting aligned. And, you know, too, it's just been emotional distress because we don't have a, <laughs> you know, a step-by-step -step resource guide as far as this is your body type and this is what it's going to be in your area to get top surgery, so on and so forth. So we don't know what to expect. As far as physical changes, do you guys notice anything different? I mean, <laughs> but for real. Um, physical changes, thankfully, I'm so blessed to have been able to get top surgery. It was a big priority before the wedding. Other than that, um, any physical changes, I feel like my voice has been getting a little bit lower, but it's, I don't feel it's as low as it should be. And I think personally that might be because of my hormonal levels going up and down and up and down. But I'm going to probably start um, some voice training soon to continue to work on myself and see, you know, what I have control over and how I can change that. That way I'm just more comfortable uh, with myself because it's just been a, a big change. As far as um, physical changes, I haven't cut my hair because I've been recovering from surgery. So I have all my... And just like ignore it right now because like I said, I just showered so my hair is probably like whack. But I'm thinking of growing out for sure. I had to shave my chest and stuff for top surgery. Um, the body redistribution, I feel like, of course I'm getting like softer now because I haven't been able to work out or anything. But like I feel like all my, like I used to have hips, I guess. And I feel like all that fat has went to my stomach. And also my butt, like my butt is huge and it's like, I keep wanting to work out, but I don't want my butt to get huge. It's like this weird thing. So social changes have been, you know, I've touched up on this a lot, especially with Alexa and I, you know, going out, nobody runs into my way. I think that's a little weird. People talk to me before they'll talk to her. Um, a, a, a couple of just different things that I have noticed as well. And honestly, the biggest thing problem socially with the socially changes or excuse me social changes is that I'm adapting just as much as everyone else is actually no take that back I'm adapting more than everyone else is because strangers in the real world they don't know me they just know Dean you know they think I'm probably a cis male like whatever but me I'm now self-conscious as far as before it was passing now I'm getting used to having top surgery so I don't have to worry about the binder and about the tucking and about everything else that I was doing for the past half a year you know and those changes are just something that I have to get used to as well I have to just learn not to be so self-conscious which something before I came out I really learned to embrace myself even though I didn't like myself at all and I really hated myself but I was at least, I cared so less about myself it, that I didn't care about what I looked like. Does that make sense? Like, I, I knew I looked good, like, to people, but I wasn't afraid of making a fool out of myself or, like, being goofy or doing whatever else because I didn't care. I had like nothing else but at that and like now that's what's hard for me because now I feel true to my colors but with that being said I'm wearing my heart on my sleeve so it's really difficult now to kind of relearn how to change socially which I think is interesting that it's more of social changes internally as far as also within the community you know as well um everything else top surgery boom so that was my eight month update on testosterone. I hope that you enjoy. If you did enjoy, make sure that you like, you share, and you also subscribe. That way you can see all of my videos coming out. And I hope that I will see you later. Have a great day.